I've randomized NHL players and will be selecting 20 to build a team for NHL 24. Today I will be able to see all the information on the card, however the top players filter will be off so I could get really lucky or I could get really unlucky. After all my choices have been made, we will assemble the team and simulate franchise mode with the hopes of winning a Stanley Cup. After winning that one cup, I'm thirsty for more. I also found this shirt in my storage. I haven't worn it in so long. Ah, uh, pretty cool. Doesn't really fit the best anymore, but uh, drafting. Let's do that. The beauty of this is that even though I'm able to see the players, we could still get really lucky or really unlucky going Velarde to start us off. I was running a few samples just to make sure that, you know, we won't have the most ridiculous team in the world. There's a chance that we do, but there's also a chance that I get completely shafted. I gotta go with the Con Smythe guy, right? I also noticed that the NHL API updated the logos, so the Anaheim Ducks changed theirs and so did the Kings. I'm not sure if there's any other ones, but they haven't really done trades yet because Delandria still shows up on Dallas. So far we have two forwards and we get another set of players here. That's unfortunate. You know what? Let's go for the defenseman. I'm also definitely still gonna try going after a goalie. That's what I'm talking about right there. That is us getting extremely lucky. We were almost screwed. First goalie that comes up, they are getting selected. Ooh, Tara Sancho would be awesome. Two-time Stanley Cup winner. Marty the one-man party because he's a defenseman, but I think it's still early enough in the draft I can justify taking another forward, so we're going with Vlad. I know I've done just a regular fantasy draft on NHL 24 before, and a lot of people were actually fans of it, kind of just getting to chill and take whoever I wanted, and that's what this is, except this is the website version. I would be a stupid idiot. And I would make the list if I passed up on Vili Huso. Who do we got next? Nico Dawes, another goal, two goaltenders, and we get Jeff Skinner. I think I gotta go with Skinner here because I don't feel like taking a backup goalie just yet. We do have a starter in Vili Huso. He can definitely control the crease, but we might get a better goalie. So I'm gonna hold off. If we don't end up getting another tender, then I guess we have to bring up like a 50 overall to be the backup, which would suck but I'm gonna risk it. If you guys are looking for consistently mediocre content, now is the time to subscribe. Ludwig? Like Ludwig Kaiser? I am going to see Money in the Bank and NXT this coming weekend. We have a lot of forwards already, so Tenorti's probably the higher overall, but I am gonna go with Ludwig just for fun. Run it back. Connor Sheary, that isn't bad, but that is really good. Have to go with Kyle Connor here. Our team is looking nasty. Next, we have Perron. Ooh, ooh, a defenseman could be pretty good, actually. What overall was Brandstrom again? Was he like 78 or was he 80? I don't even remember, and this was the last video I made. I think. Braun would be good. Ah, screw it, give me Branny. If I'm not mistaken, he did put up a respectable amount of points on the second pair. Could be making that up. We have hit the halfway point. We have 10 players and we need 10 more. Ooh, I really want to take Hag here. But just for fun, I think I'm going to go with Lauko. My main reasoning behind that is that we would already have four defensemen if we take Hag, and we still have a lot of positions to fill. But whatever. My mind's been made. Decision has been announced. A card laid is a card played, and we get three very solid players. I probably would have anyway, but we need to take a defenseman because Velarde was our first pick. Okay, hear me out. I know this is not going <laughs> to... Between Kyle Connor and Velarde... We already have two Jets. Norrissey would be unbelievable. He really would. But with our 12th overall pick, I select Luke Hughes. All right, moving on. Next up, we have a Philip Heronic. Stop giving me great defensemen. You really have to stop doing that. Yeah, I'm going Heronic. We need to start drafting forwards though. Also haven't seen a goalie in a minute here. Nico. Holy crap, that scared me for a second. I still almost guarantee you. There it is. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why I was waiting for another goaltender. Bucky is joining our team. We're not going to win the cup still, but if we don't, this game is outrageous. I like making cap compliant teams. You know, it's like a legit team. Put it on the ice, blah, blah. But sometimes it's fun to just assemble a super team. And today is one of those days. I really shouldn't take Jones because then we have to take forwards from here on out. But with that being said, we don't have too many forwards left to take. The odds of us getting a forward are really good. This could come back to bite me. 
I'm going Seth. Four more rounds, and we need four forwards. Boone the bounty hunter. It's gotta be Boone. That round was literally all forwards, so that's fire. And then we get another set. Nope, Dubois, not there. He is now a capital. Not sure how I feel about that. Change of scenery, you know what I mean? I was actually just re-watching the Pasta Fiala Sandbagger Invitational, so it's only right. Gotta go with Kev. The thing too is that ever since Oh, I hate this. I could play a defenseman on forward and go with Adam Fox. However, if you do watch a lot of my videos, you know I have to go with Tanner Jeannot. If he doesn't have the most fights this time, I quit. I don't know if I even got here yet or maybe I started the thought and didn't finish it, but what I was gonna say is that ever since the comment, I send these players to internationals, so we're the only team with these players. Though so a lot of NHL teams are getting gutted right now. And we're on our final pick already. Whomst will be the final member of this Stanley Cup winning team? 100% Ehlers again. We already have six defensemen. Shabbat would have been cool, but no. We have a lot of Winnipeg Jets. Imagine if I took Norrissey as well. This would have been crazy. Let's head over to NHL 24, assemble this team, and put them into franchise mode. We are here on NHL 24, and our team is absolutely grotesque. 94 overall. However, we are not the only ones at 94 overall. We do have some company. We were 12 million over the cap, but you know, it's nothing Tampa or Vegas has never done. Let's we'll throw some players on IR. You know what I mean? Once again, I was gonna skip past the screen and I already toggled this to off, but I turned it right back on just so that we can tell Jabroni on screen, you will not be editing my lines. I forgot to mention, but just in case this is your first video, the divisions are all out of whack because I did a 33 team custom league and just added ours to that. We could have had Adam Fox, which in hindsight probably should have. Hindsight's 50-50. Absolutely ew. I'm gonna do March is so dirty here and actually move him down to the third line so that we get a plus three and then we get a 5-3-2-0. Oh. Sounds like a plan to me. Our offense is unbelievable. Will we have any defensive chemistry? Okay, that's not too bad. Our defense is definitely our weakness, and this bottom two pair with the dash one going to get lit up, but it is what it is. Connor Hellebuck in the cage with Vili Huso backing him up. Pasta gets the most points with 105. Yeah, that's fair. And we're gonna get 52 wins. It's gonna be an unreal season. Watch this team somehow underperform. Wouldn't be that surprised, honestly. I do like having my microphone here because I... Think it makes the audio quality much better, but this thingy right here, completely in the way. I can't see the bottom half of the screen. I mean, I guess I can through the meshy stuff. Can confirm we are not underperforming. I might've been being a little bit humble with my prediction. We are near the trade deadline. Holy, coach is getting fired left and right. 46 wins at the deadline. No, we lost to Colorado. So 45, which is still crazy. And we get two wins fresh off of the deadline. We lose to the jerks though. President's trophy, it has to be. There's no way there's a team in the NHL that did better than us. Get 56 wins. You won't. You actually won't do it. Told you. You know what? We only had 114 points. And I say only very lightly there because obviously 114 points is crazy. But look, we're only five up on Florida. And maybe a team in another division went off. Vancouver was so close. Even though they lost Philip Ronick, they were one behind us. Dallas was two behind us. Toronto was right there. It was fairly close to being the top 16. Pasta would put up 102 for us. We get 85 from Connor. And Velarde had 74 with 30 tucks. What a mad lad. How did Vili Huso struggle with this team? He had a sub 900. I mean, our defense wasn't the best, I guess, but still. Hellebuck was the man, 924 save percentage. We are going to get a lot of hardware, but there's only one piece of hardware that really matters. Jones, 59 points. That's solid. Luke Hughes, 35. Heronic, 40. He did have the most wins, and yeah, gonna clean up. Look at this guy go. We could have had him too, but instead I got Tanner Jano. You better have fought Tanner. 107 for what does the fox say? We've got Luke's brother with 95 points. Kale Maker 83. No. Adam Fox won the Art Ross. That's actually nuts. And how about Pavelski, 103. McDavo led forwards with 106, and we will not be getting the Rocket Richard because Kucherov got 54. Moment of truth. Who's that guy? Fourth? Not a fantasy draft. Don't need to look at the rosters. We did steal Boone Jenner. 
from Columbus, but let's go. First three games, everybody knows the rules. We've got a sweep on our hands. Boom. Told ya. This series might not be as easy. That goes without saying. Let's see how we fare in the first three games. We lose and then we lose, but we did get a win at the end. How about we make it a best of three? You know, that'd be cool. Okay, backs against the wall. I'm going crazy here. Velarde had a great season. He's being promoted to the first line. I don't care that they lose plus two. I'm also going to move March just so... No, I'm not. Nope, not doing that. That's all I'm doing. Moving Velarde up one line. It won't be enough, but let's go simulate anyway. You guys don't deserve a real-time sim unless we get to game seven. Which we do not. Carolina goes on to win the Stanley Cup. We get the Bridgeport Islanders as your Calder Cup champions. Pasta Connor and Nico all had eight points, so they were doing well. The Con Smythe guy got seven. That's solid considering you're on the third line. He didn't really do bad. No, not at all. 918, 237. That's good. I guess we just weren't scoring. I don't know. Yeah, less than point a game. Not gonna cut it. Frederick Anderson. Or Mr. Anderson, if you will. That could be both a wrestling and a Matrix reference. Now, this is interesting. The two goalies in the finals... Wait. No, that can't be. Who was the West team in the finals? The top four goalies here are all East. Pavel? Anyway, Freddy and Ilya both had a 918 and both had a 271. Adam just continues to be a sicko. 20 points, 15 games... Noah Dobson did well. Same with Kale, 16 and 13. That's respectable. Your Conn Smythe winner, Andrei Svechnikov, had 27 points in 22 games played, 14 goals. Reinhardt did very well. Oh, it was custom divisions. It all makes sense now. That's a dang it. Anyway, Art Hart combo going to a defenseman. Adam Fox, well done, sir. Guess who also won the Norris? And the Lady Bing. We finally get to see a new face, and this is probably a first for me. I don't think I've ever seen Marco win the Calder. Svetch did win the Con Smythe as presumed. Hellebuck with the Vesna, and Demko gets the Jennings. I'm gonna try, and I'm gonna butcher it, but the effort's there. Hakanpa gets the Bill Masterton. I don't know, I'm sorry. The Jack Adams goes to straight. We have Crosby taking home the Selkie. Fox awarded another trophy. And Kucherov with the rocket. You kidding me? It was the Islanders against Carolina in the finals. That checks out now. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you as always. I think I would like to do something similar to this. However, I can only pick from an NHL team once. So for example, because I took Velarde first overall, I wouldn't have been able to take Norrissey, which I didn't anyway, but I wouldn't have been able to take Connor, Ehlers, Hellebuck, just spitball him. Just an idea. If you guys try this draft out, let me know how yours went. And if you have draft ideas, video ideas, go ahead, let me know below. And on that note, I'll see you soon.